Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode 103. Hey guys, welcome back. I just got done working out a little bit. <laughs> I was filming a video for my other channel, and now I'm tired, and I may look gross, but I'm gonna record this real fast, and then I'm gonna go get cleaned up. <laughs> but And I got lines on my nose for my glasses, because I wear my glasses. <laughs> And then when I record videos, I take them off so they're not all glary. So if you see red on my nose, that's what that is. <laughs> Anyways, I got some, a lot of finished objects. Actually, that's all I have to show with you. That lot is so glary, <laughs> but it's kind of gloomy outside. But I got one, two, three, four, five, six-ish, a little bit more than that, really, finished objects to share with you. Now, currently, I don't have any active whips. I do have my um, hibernating whips. And I'll be getting into them soon. <laughs> and uh, I finished my last active whip last night. And then I just haven't started anything new yet. So i got to find some more stuff to work, <laughs> work on. But I'm going to go ahead and hop into my finished objects. So first, I'm going to say this one just to get it out of the way. Because everybody's excited about it. <laughs> or at least I am. But I finished my Valentine's Day countdown. The only thing I haven't done was finish the um, little thing that moves from day to day. Because I have to hot glue it. And I just haven't done that yet. But, and... Just warning, the numbers are crooked. <laughs> I sewed them on while I was laying down, and some of them are crooked, but I don't even care enough to go change it. <laughs> I, th I thought about cutting them off and re them on there, but, I mean, it's just for me and Jesse to use, so it doesn't need to be perfect. I am probably going to enter it into my county fair this year, as they have a category that's other holiday decorations. That's not Thanksgiving, Halloween, or Christmas. <laughs> so this falls on, under that. But this pattern is a free pattern, and it's called Valentine's Day Countdown by Loops and Love. And here's mine. See, these ones right here are going upward, but I still think it's cute. These two hearts are not part of this pattern. They're, they're separate, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But the background is corner to corner. It's all made out of red heart super saver in white, perfect pink, and cherry red. And then the numbers I bought at Hobby Lobby, they're just little wooden numbers, and I painted them pink and red. Every other one different colors. They already got the stuff in there for Jesse because it's hanging on the wall. I just took it down to um, show you guys. So yeah, so I made the pockets separate, the back separate, these hearts are separate, and then on the top there's a thing to hang it up with, and on the back, I'm using an old mop handle to hang it with. There's these three little things that hold it on there. In retrospect, I wish I had continued to sew it and make it like little pockets so that it would hold right there, but this will do temporarily. I do want to get a dowel to hang it up with, because if I enter it in the fair, I don't want it to be a mop handle. I'm going to actually get a nice little dowel. My Walmart quit selling them, so I have to wait to go back to the town that's got Hobby Lobby in it to get a dowel. But, yeah, so that's the back of it. The back looks really nice. <laughs> I did a good job at sewing stuff on. But, yeah, I think it's awesome. The 14 pocket is bigger, so you can put more stuff in there. I got a few different little C-A-N-D-Y in there. <laughs> He's sitting right in there. And, um, sure, her heart pattern, I didn't like it. It was weird. Had a lot of triple crochets and made it real holy. And not the cute lacy holy like Mom, this is. It's just like the weird, awkward the holy. In there now? It's already in there. All right, I had to go hang it back up so that he would leave it alone. And also wash his hands off because he was eating a cinnamon roll. And it was everywhere. But anyways, that's that. <laughs> the two hearts that were on there, which I'll insert a better picture of one up close, is uh, of another free pattern that I found. And let me find it. It's called the Sweetie Hearts Applique by Bella Crochet. She's got a lot of really nice patterns for free on her blog. And it's old. I think the last, she last updated it in towards the end of 2018 and hasn't updated it again. So I don't know if she just quit or what. But she's still got a ton of cute patterns on there. So I suggest going and looking through them and downloading them if you want to keep them. Because she might end up deleting it. We never know. So it's always good to download <laughs> any pattern that you find that you like. So that you, uh, you know, if the designer decides to take their website down or something, you'll still have it. Anyways, it's from there. Alright, let's see here. I got a lot of big finished objects to share with you guys. Okay, the next one is my 2017 Jada and Stitches calendar blanket. I finished it. Let me stand up. Actually, I first finished, finished the December square, which is right here. It's a Christmas bobble. My stuff like messed up a little bit. But I used, uh, it's all Red Heart Super Saver except the bobble. It's shiny. It's Karen Party. I used two strands of it held together. Because it's supposed to be worsted, but it's really thin. And then I didn't put the stars. I thought it was cute without the stars. But then I also did, I sewed them all together and um, did the border. So here it is. I'm trying to show it as well as I can. 
I went with Jada's border, which is just a row of single crochet in white, a row of double crochet in yellow and blue, and then the border color for the squares in white. I actually did the same colors for this as hers. I was just, I did what she said, which is I laid it, I laid the blanket out and I saw what colors I had like the most of that would make it pop. So I went with blue and yellow because I have a lot of the red heart, uh, light blue and bright yellow in the blanket. So I thought it would be cute with all of it. So this is one thing off of my 2020 goals that I can mark off. So that's awesome that I already got one done in January. That makes me feel cool. Now this ultimately is going to go to my nephew who's eight, but by the time he gets it, he'll be nine <laughs> because um, he's not going to get it until after Bubba. He's not going to get it until after his birthday this year because our county fair is in September and I'm going to enter this in the fair, but I want to keep it safe and clean until then. So it's just going to get put in a tote until later this year and then he can have it when I'm done using it. <laughs> All right, my next big finished object. So that's two big finished objects. And then this is the third and last big finished object. I finished my granny shawl, which I wasn't using a pattern for. It's just a granny stitch. And if you're interested in a pattern like it, just go to Google or Ravelry or somewhere and type in crochet granny shawl and it'll pop up something similar to this. <laughs> but this is just a granny stitch over and over again. Really big. <laughs> I'm, I wanted it big so that I could snuggle in it around the fire like I've talked about it needs to be washed but it's huge <laughs> it's almost poncho-ish I should have just made a poncho <laughs> but um I made I used three cakes of yarn be sugar wheel and the color was um it's like brocade belay belay brocade belay what can I say that <laughs> brocade ballet whatever <laughs> I used three whole cakes well not whole cakes this is what I had left of the last cake which is ultimately going to be scrap gans and possibly a monster because I want to make a button monster to put on my buttons on and I want to make them all crazy and weird looking. So this is going to go in that. I know you do. Monsters are cool, huh? They're not real. Monsters aren't real. They're just pretend. It's huge. That's how big it is. <laughs> I can't even hold it up. Alright, now my next finished objects. I got a few more to show you. For the... Um, valentine's day countdown i made my own little um flag like pennant thing uh from scratch my own pattern <laughs> for it and the little heart and uh i actually do have these written up and i'm going to be offering them for free on my facebook group uh when i get it done and i also filmed a video tutorial today for it i also filmed a video tutorial that I'm gonna put on the YouTube channel when I get the sound or the voiceover recorded. I got it all edited except the voiceover because of Jesse. <laughs> so I have to wait till he goes to bed tonight and then I'll sit down and record the voiceover and get it finished editing and hopefully get it up in the next couple days. But it's just a little uh, flag shape <laughs> with a little crochet heart on it. And my plans for it is I got a dowel that I painted red. I'm gonna hot glue the flag to it and then I'm gonna hot glue a little pom pom or a bead or something on the bottom so that it won't poke through the crochet so that every day Jesse can move this to whichever day it is of February down to Valentine's Day. So I gotta get a move on this because this this Saturday is Val or not Valentine's Day. It's, uh, what is it? Uh, February, I almost said September, <laughs> February 1st. So I need to get this done. But I, like I said, I do have the pattern written up and I made two more and a bunch of the little hearts while I was practicing the heart pattern. I kinda did tweak it a little bit and uh, while well, writing down. So I have a bunch of little finished ones. They're not woven in, but um, so that pattern and the tutorial will be up super soon because it's already almost done. I just have to finish tweaking it. And then the video tutorial will be here for free and the written pattern will be on my Facebook group. And I might make a really cheap PDF version of it if you want to like an ad free, whatever, <laughs> free version of it for like a dollar on my Etsy shop, but I'll get around to that sometime this weekend. <laughs> but I thought it's cute. And this little pennant, you know, I put a heart on it but you, you just sew that on there. So if you don't want the heart on there, you could put anything on there. If you make a little, like if it's someone's birthday, you could put the number that they are, or you could put uh, the first letter of their name or any other little applique, or you can make it this way, make a bunch of them and make a little banner with, and you could even turn the heart and uh, make little bunting with different little things on it. I don't know. It's just a basic little flag shape, <laughs> super quick, super easy. 
Jaycee's making mouth noises. <laughs> my next finished object uh, is kind of my own pattern, but it was inspired by somebody else. And the person who inspired me to make it was the Stitchin' Mommy. She made uh, a jar cozy that, but it was for one of those little jars, like a pint jar, I guess. And uh, I don't have any pint jars. So I tweaked her pattern and made it bigger. And then also put a different, I put something on the front of it that was another person's pattern. And I'll link that in just a second. But it's just a jar cozy. Hey. <laughs> if you recognize this jar, I don't think you recognize the jar, but I use this just about every holiday under my TV. I put holiday themed flowers in it and I try to, I've been trying to make jar cozies or I just sometimes just leave it, you know, without a cozy. But now that I'm making jar cozies, I'm going to make one for every holiday possible. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so this is basically her pattern and I still haven't gotten good at making my seam straight. But I did make it bigger. So it's not her pattern, but it was inspired by her pattern. That's basically what I was trying to say. <laughs> uh, her pattern is what gave me the idea for it. And then these hearts, these are another person's pattern. These are called Heart Applique by Hooks and Sunshine. And she has three different of this version. She has a, the big one, a medium one, and a little one. And this is the little and medium one. So the big one's much bigger than this red one. And so I just thought that would be cute layered on there, the two hearts. And then I got these at Dollar Tree. They're just uh, red roses with little white things and then little like glitter confetti hearts. Super cute. And then while I was at Dollar Tree, actually, I went ahead and bought St. Patrick's Day flowers to put in it right here. They got little coins and one of them's got two shamrocks. But I went ahead and got those because I am planning on designing a St. Patrick's Day one. And, and when I get it designed, it'll be a free written pattern. Maybe. It depends on how complicated it is. It might be a paid for PDF. But I'm also going to try to make a video tutorial. I want to try to start making little patterns that are quick and easy with video tutorials. That's one direction I want to go on my channel. I don't want to make big blankets or cardigans or anything like that. I want to just have little decorative cute things to make your house cute. But yeah, so look forward to a St. Patrick's Day themed jar cozy really soon. And maybe a banner <laughs> or pennant or bun. Or I don't know. Just look forward to stuff. <laughs> But I think this is super cute. And now that I showed it to you, I can go set it in my living room. And it'll be cute. For some of February, usually after Valentine's Day, I will take down my Valentine's Day decorations and put up St. Patrick's Day. Because <laughs> then there's only a month left for that. Because St. Patrick's Day is the 17th of March. So you only have about a month to celebrate it before you got to pull Easter out. <laughs> and that's pretty much how I do. It, you know, it's always something. <laughs> I'm always putting out one holiday and bringing out another one. But this is so cute. And I love these uh, flowers. This one's like pokey and this one's got like uh, beads on it and then the other ones are just sequin -y. I thought it was neat how they were different. But yeah so that is all of my finished objects. Whew, that's quite a few. <laughs> I've been busy. I went ham. I put a I put a whole cake about a whole cake because I put it's okay. I put I got a brand new cake down yesterday. I used the rest of one cake and then all the other cake except this one. So about a whole cake worth of that shawl <laughs> in yesterday. And I finished the Jaden Stickets, <laughs> Jaden Stitches Afghan the day before yesterday, I think. I put it on my Instagram right after I finished it. And I was watching Unsolved Mysteries while working on it. <laughs> but uh, I'm just trying to get some of these big things out of the way because there's a lot of things I want to design and I haven't had the time to design them. I was wanting really hard, really bad, to crochet a Groundhog Day themed banner for my house. But looks like I'm going to have to put that off the next year because Groundhog's Day is... Sunday <laughs> and I don't think I can whip that out that quickly but who knows I might I don't know <laughs> but now my next uh hibernating whip that I'm going to pull out and start working on is going to be the 2019 unraveled mitten stash busting thing <laughs> I can't remember what it's called but I do have quite a few of those squares I got them in a box under my table I'll have to dig them out I'm gonna pull them out and see what I all made and then I'm just going to start working on the squares again and then put it together and then that'll be done. Hopefully I can finish that up in February. And then when I'm done with that one, I'll pull out the 2019 Jade and Stitches folk art blanket and finish it. I'm not very far behind on that. I got, I caught up pretty well last year, towards the end of last year. I still, <clears throat> I think the last thing I did was the tractor. So I got to make the sunflowers and the pumpkins. What else? He's making noises again. And the border and stuff like that. It's pretty close to being done. So I think I could probably get done with all these random blankets by the end of March. That's my goal. And then I don't want to start any more blankets for a while. Because <laughs> I'm still working on this wall. I want to... Jesse, Stop doing that for a minute, okay? I know, but can you stop doing it? Bubba. <laughs> he was blowing into a block. But anyways, I want to 
work on this wall. This is my goal this year is to work this wall down. I have a blanket idea that I want to work on, but I don't want to start another blanket right now. And then I got that really awesome book gifted to me. It's actually right there. That gray square book. I want to make those so bad. I keep looking at it, but I'm not going to start a single square in that book until all my other blankets are done. And then I think I'm going to make every square in the book. <laughs> so that'll be a fun thing to show. Um, every, whenever I finish a square, I might make a little video just about it. But yeah, so that's all my finished objects. And I don't have any current whips, like I said, other than the hibernating ones that I will pull out later maybe. I'll sit down and make some little squares. So the only other thing I got to talk about is I got some acquisitions. And then I will announce the winner for the Knit Crate Yarn um, that was in the last video. So I will announce that in just a minute. But let me get my acquisitions. Okay, the majority of my acquisitions are fabric. <laughs> I got these today at the thrift store. I went there because I needed some liner fabric. And I didn't want to have to run and get actual fabric from a fabric store. So I thought I'd go there to see if they had any, and they did. And then I got a couple of outer fabrics too. So I found this really cute bird print. I think Billy had some of this print uh, recently. But it's about a half a yard, so I can make one bag set out of it. It's really pretty. It's got bird houses and cardinals and uh, bluebirds and I think like a finch on there. Just all kinds of cute birds and bird houses. So there'll be a bag of that eventually in the shop. And then I found two yards of this one. This is real cute. This is gardening if you like flowers and gardening. This would be cute for you because it looks like seed packets. But it's like flower seed packets. And so there are um, two yards of that. So there'll be four bag sets of that coming out eventually. <laughs> when I get around to making them. And then I did get a couple yards of gray fabric for liners. And this is like three yards of white. I got very lucky today to get a lot of nice fabric for really cheap. And then the only other thing I got at the thrift store craft-wise was a crochet hook. I found this one. It's called Seven Day Afghan Book. And it's just got a bunch of afghans in it. A lot, Some of them are granny. Which I know is real popular right now. People are making... There's all kinds of like granny alongs right now. There are some um, knit patterns in here. But it's also crochet patterns. It doesn't even say that on the cover. But, um, you know, you can tell when it's knit and crochet. But there are some really cute ones on here. Here's a couple more. So I'm going to flip through it, and if there's any I really want to keep, I might copy it on my copier, and then I might just give this book to somebody. <laughs> I just can't leave crochet pattern books when I see them. Even if I have, even if I find one that I already have, I usually buy it, and then I gift it to people, <laughs> because I just don't want to leave it sitting there. But yeah, so that's all of my um, acquisitions. Not many, because I am on a craft ban. Trying to find the winner. <laughs> so let me get the yarn, and then I'll announce the winner. Okay, so... Last week, I offered this as a giveaway. It's the Euro Yarn by Knit Crate. I've had it for a while. I love the color. I just haven't used it, and I don't plan on using it. So, I'm just going to desash it and give it to someone who will use it. So, uh, in the last video, I had, like, a, uh, the word that you had to use was enlightened, which is the name of the yarn. <laughs> and so, I did a random draw uh, YouTube comment picker thing. And the winner, I'll pop it up too, is Robin Lawson, which I'm pretty sure I've seen your comments before on not just my videos, but other people's videos. So, that's cool. So congratulations, Robin. <laughs> you have one week from today, which is February something. February 5th <laughs> to uh, email me. My email, I'll pop it up on the screen right now. And also it's uh, in the description box. But email me so that I can get this yarn shipped out to you. And I'll ship it out as quickly as I can. And yeah, so congratulations, Robin. And now, da 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 Another giveaway. <laughs> like I said, I'm trying to de-stash. Get rid of the yarns. This this uh, hank is like super loose. I need to retwist it. But um, it's just yarn that I've been holding on to because I think it's pretty. But I'm not using it. So there's no point in hoarding it forever if I'm not ever going to use it. Hold on, I'm retwisting this because it's real loose for some reason. I'm hogging their horns. Okay, that's a little bit better. <laughs> but yeah, so the next giveaway... It's going to be this color. It's a really pretty brown. I think this was November's last year, maybe. And it is knit Knitology Glowing Worsted. So it is worsted weight. The colorway is Shoreline. It's 40% Super Rush Merino, 30% Silk, and 30% Alpaca. There's 150 yards each. So it's 300 all together. That's still wonky looking. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So it's a really pretty brown, sandy color. I like it a lot. Uh, I do think it's beautiful and I would love to use it, but I'm just, I know I'm not going to use it anytime soon. And I'm trying to clear off the shelf because I have other things I need to put on that shelf. Books and things that's been in a tote since we lived here, which we've lived here for three years, <laughs> need to come out and I need to put, get rid of some of this yarn. But anyways, so to, if you want to uh, try to win this yarn, use the word shoreline 
in your comment somewhere. And that, that's an easier one to use. I'm not using that good camera today. <laughs> but it's just shoreline, like, you know, beach shoreline. Just leave it in your comment. You need to be a subscriber. You need to be over 18. It's not affiliated with anybody but me. I'm the one who's giving it away. <laughs> um, like and share the video if you would like to. There's no pressure, though. <laughs> but definitely you have to be a subscriber. And I do check. So, um, yeah. I think that's everything. I will draw that winner on the next No Catch Your Name episode. I'll announce that. So, that'll be sometime next week. <laughs> I'm not very consistent on the days. But I usually try to get one out a week. So, uh, whoever wins that will be announced on the next No Catch Your Name episode. All right, I think that's everything. I do have a few bags left in the shop. There's like five of them in there, and I did mark them down to 25% off just to try to get rid of them. Um, so if you're interested, go check that out. I, w I am going to be working on more bags this weekend. The ones I showed you, the chickens and um, friends and the coffee houses and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Those ones I showed you the other day are going to be worked on this weekend. I'm going to try to get them up uh, sometime next week in the shop, so they'll be there. There are going to be sacked bottoms, <laughs> by the way. I don't think I'm ever going to make another box bottom because they're harder they take more time and time right now to me is super precious i don't have the time to waste box and bottoms <laughs> so yeah those will be up in the shop eventually the stuff in the shop right now is currently on sale hopefully that new pennant pattern <laughs> will be up in the next few days video tutorial and the free copy of it on the no kitchen and facebook group it'll be in the files but since it's new i will when i post it i will put it as an announcement so it'll be under the announcements tag uh to quickly get to it if you're interested and yeah, I guess that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because i got to figure out what I'm going to make for dinner. <laughs> it's already too late today to thaw out anything. Well, maybe not. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be a tutorial video. <laughs> or And I also got some tag videos. I still got to do the 2020 subscribership video. And I got to do the um, that new granny one. I can't remember what it's called, but Jane <laughs> from Scraptastic Yarns, she tagged me. Uh, I forgot what the name of it is, but I will put that out. Maybe this weekend I'll try to get a moment to film all these and put them out next week sometime. So, I don't know. Just, you'll see me when you see me. Also, check out the vlog channel. It's linked in the description. It's called No Kitchen Name Life. I am posting there way more frequently, but it's because I have a lot of life stuff going on, not just crochet. So, there's vlogs and weight loss videos and recipes and all kinds of stuff over there. I actually have a video now that I got to edit for that. It's a motivational video for working out. <laughs> That's actually why I look the way I do because I just filmed that one. <laughs> I probably should have filmed this one first, but oh well. I got my workout in for today already, and it's only three. Usually I do that at night. But anyways, I'm going to go because I'm, I'm blabbing. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.